Let's go. It's your man, Mike Bowens, coming to you once again, live and direct. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. I'm dropping bombs all on your head. Boom, 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 boom. Listen, this message is entitled, Why You Must Believe in Yourself. Why You Must Believe in Yourself. Now, listen, there's a lot of people who believe in a lot of different things, right? It's great to believe in God, but even the scripture tell you that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So the first part of that is I can do all things. And then it's through Christ who strengthens me. And so a lot of people have confidence in God or they have confidence in other people, but they don't have confidence in themselves. And this is the missing ingredient for you to be successful. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else can talk you into what it is that you feel your calling is. You can't even talk yourself into what you believe your calling is. But at the same time, people can talk you out of what you think your calling is because you don't believe in yourself. And you have to believe in yourself that you have confidence, right, in yourself. Not arrogance, but you got to be confident in yourself. Like, listen, the gifts and talents that God put inside of me, yeah, I can use them. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than capable of doing this or doing that. Because you have to be so confident because life is going to punch you in the face. Life is going to give you some black eyes. Life is going to beat you up at times. Listen, it takes, it's, it's painful to be great. It's painful to break out of average. It's painful. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. If it was easy, there would be nobody who haven't lived out their dreams. There'd be nobody who's not living their best life. There'd be nobody who's not considered a failure or a person who has given up. But the fact of the matter is we have so many people who have given up on their dreams. We have so many people who have given up on their goals. We have so many people who have thrown in the towel. But not you. You're still fighting. You're still pressing on. You're still believing God for something greater than you ever seen before. Right? And then you're still believing in yourself. Guess what? Everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes you make mistakes and you have to look at it and say, you know what? I got to dust my shoulders off. I got to learn from that mistake and, and see how I can do things better next time. Because if you continue to dwell on the past and why you did not make it and why things did not work out, then you'll never reach your full potential. You'll never get to where God is calling you to go to. You'll never accomplish your dreams, right? So you must believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, somebody else will hire you to build their dream for them. So this is one of the steps that, that you can take to start to believe in yourself. I want you to get a journal and begin to write down right, your goals, your aspirations, your dreams. And I want you to pray over it. Pray over it every day and begin to declare out loud, right? I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than able. Right, because death and life is in the power of the tongue. See, so a lot of times you could be saying something and you yourself don't even believe it yet. That's a bomb going on. Boom! You can be saying stuff, yeah, I'm gonna have my own business, but you don't believe it yet, so nobody else believes you. But once you say it enough, you'll start to believe your own voice. And once you begin begin to believe your own voice, then you become unstoppable. Because for a lot of people, you can encourage other people. Yeah, you can do it, girl. Or yeah, man, you can do it. You're unstoppable. Yeah, I believe in you. You can do this. You can do that. But when it comes to their selves, they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they are able. They don't believe that they're capable. They don't believe that they're worthy to uh, have the type of success and victory in their life that they say that they want. Because you must be in alignment. What you say, what you see, what you think, and what you act upon must all be in alignment. If anything is out of alignment, then it will not manifest. It will not work. Right? You could be praying to God, Lord Jesus, I believe you for this and I believe you for that. But in your heart, you're doubting. In your heart, you have full of fear. So now you're not moving towards what it is that you're saying you want. You're just saying it. And the scripture says that mere talk leads to poverty, but all hard work leads to a profit. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Just talking about something leads to poverty, but a person that grinds, a person that works hard, a person that's a go-getter, a person that goes after their goals and their dreams, right? They're going to accomplish what it is that they set out for. They're going to get a profit. And so you must, like I said, you must align yourself with what you say. You must align yourself with what you think. You must align yourself with what you see. And you must align yourself within your actions. 
right? So you say, I want to lose weight. What are you doing about that? Are you changing your diet? Are you beginning to exercise? Are you beginning to drink water? You say, you know what? I want to, I want to have my own business. What are you doing towards that? Are you just saying it, right? Because anybody can say it, but not everybody's going to live it. Not everybody's going to do it. And so I hear a lot of people every day, right? I just observe now. And back in the day, I used to hear a person complain and I always tried to offer them advice as like I was helping them or something like that. If they ask me for my advice, sometimes I should not even say anything, but you live and you learn. And so I just observe people now and I listen to them. And a lot of people are like, you know what? This job is terrible. I don't make enough money. My back hurts, my knees hurts, my kidney hurts, everything hurts. The dog hurts, the cat hurts, everything hurts. But yet and still, they will not make a change to change their situation. Why? Because in their subconscious mind, they believe that the pain and suffering that they're going through, they're supposed to be going through it. The pain that they're going through, they believe that it's okay because they're working hard towards something. And when they get their paycheck, it's all going to be validated. Now, I don't know about you, but if something is constantly poking me, and it hurts, I'm trying to get away from that as fast as possible, right? I'm trying to get out of that situation as fast as possible to something better, right? And so what I want you to do is to start believing in yourself, right? Even if you have to write up that scripture and put it on the wall, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and say it every day. Some people are like, oh, you that's too extreme, but I am extreme. I am extreme. You know, I shaved my beard and my mustache off. I started thinking about this other day because I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I remember years ago when I worked security and the people that came um, from the military, they shaved their mustache and their beard. And because I had minds like that, and I even shaved my hair off at one time to bald because I was like, yo, I was in war mode. I was overweight. I was not living where I wanted to live. I was not in the, in the field that I wanted to be in. Nothing in my life except for my marriage and my children was the way that I wanted it to be. Everything else was out of whack. So I said, you know what? I got to go into war mode. I, if I if I could have put paint under my eyes, you know, like they do in the army and you see it in the movies and stuff like that, I would have did that and walked around. People thought I was crazy because I shaved everything off, shaved my hair off. I was even thinking of shaving my eyebrows off. I was so serious. I don't know if you ever been to that point where you've just been so miserable on the inside where you can't even cry no more. You cried so many tears that it just come out dry. You don't have no more water inside of you that you just look at everything. You're just like, dang, why is my life like this? And to, it, I just reached a breaking point where I said, you know what? I'm not going to complain about my life being like this. I'm going to do something to change it. I'm going to do something to change these circumstances. So even if I have a gym membership, which I didn't have at the time, I didn't have money for a gym membership. I just got outside and I started walking in the parking lot, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I said, at least if I start walking, I can start burning some calories. If I can start burning some calories, I can start shedding some weight. And if I can start shedding some weight, at least I'm doing something, right? To change some aspect of my life to make it what I want it to be as opposed to just sitting there like a bump on the log and wasting and watching my life become absolutely nothing, right? And see, sometimes you got to get to the point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? You don't want to cry no more. You don't want to sit around and watch everybody else move to their dream house. You don't want to watch everybody else live in their dream. Not that you're not happy for them, but you, you it's my turn, huh? It's my turn. It's my time to go get it. It's my time to live my best life. It's my time to be used by God. It's my time to do all the things that God put in me to do. How about you? Boom, that's a bomb going off. And so you got to get to that point. You say, you know, I believe in God. Now I believe in me. I believe in me and I'm going to do this thing. Huh? I started staying up late at night, writing my books, chapter by chapter. People want to talk on the phone. I got to hit you back. I got to write. You want to go hang out? Nah, I got to write. I got to write. You want to watch this movie? Nah, I got to write. Because these dreams I got to get, it's not going to happen by osmosis. I got to put the work in to make it happen. Huh? And a lot of times people, right, you're not, you're not believing in yourself. So you're not, you're not reaching that breaking point. You're still looking at an outside source to change your circumstances. People still have um, a save me mentality. 
They're waiting for somebody else to send them on vacation. They wait for somebody else to give them money to buy them clothes. They waited for somebody else to do something for them that watch this, that they can do for themselves, right? Without anybody else's help. Now, if somebody wants to come along and be a blessing to you, praise God, I received that, but I'm not waiting and not doing nothing with my own self for somebody else to have mercy on me to do something good for me, right? And so I hope this message inspired and encouraged somebody, right, to believe in yourself. This is why you must believe in yourself, because nothing will change until you believe in God, until you believe in yourself. Everything else was going to stay the same way until you get so engulfed that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. This is your man, Mike Bowens. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for when new videos come up. And see you next time. Until then, be blessed.